Hey everyone, hello, hello, it's Esther here for Elizabeth Crafty Science. Hi again, <laughs> welcome, welcome. I am trying to find you, same as usual, <laughs> trying to find you, guys, what is, oh, I've got a Facebook notification. Bloody bloody blah. Okay, refuse. Not sure what it says, but okay. Are there some people already here? Yes. <laughs> welcome. Hi everyone. Hi Lily. Welcome Germany. How are you? Hey Anita. Hi. Hello Italy. Rosalie. <laughs> welcome. Hi Maina Femke. Hello allemaal. <coughs> Hi everyone. Hi Sandra. Well, we are doing uh, international today, <laughs> right? We do have England, Italy, Germany, uh, the US, Netherlands. <laughs> Welcome everyone. <coughs> and my hometown, Barneveld. Hi Annemiek. Welcome. Hey Terry, how are you? So good to see you. Hi Nelleke, Dana, hi, welcome everyone. Okay, uh, actually I should uh, work on week seven, but I will skip that one. Probably we'll do that next week because uh, I had a lot of pictures for week eight. So that's what I'm going to work on. Hello Canada, welcome. <laughs> hi Michelle from Ohio. And Zeeland. <laughs> Hi, Rosalie. <laughs> City trip is always nice. Okay, the winner of the $50 gift certificate from last week is Ellen Prinsen. I think she's from Holland. Ellen, congratulations. Uh, to claim your $50 gift certificate, please contact info at ecraftdesigns.com. Hi, Rick. Hi, Lisa. Hi, everyone. Good to see you. Okay, that was the official part, the winner of the $50 gift certificate, so I won't forget. My plan, and yes, actually, I do have a plan for today. Two pages, <coughs> uh, pictures and picture frames. The set which I'm going to use is an older one. It's a 1742 photo frames page. For those of you who don't know it, it's this one. And because I do have quite a lot of pictures for week eight, I thought it might be nice to use this one again. So that's what I'm going to do and show you how to use it. Hi, Belinda. Good to see you too. Hi, Pat. <laughs> hello, hello. Okay, guys, <clears throat> what I did. Oh, yeah. I did cut two base pages, which you can see over here. It's the same die. Um, Cut once uh, with the die with the holes on the left, turn it around, and then you will have the tab a little bit higher, as you can see. You see two different positions, um, but that way you can use uh, the page for both, uh, sorry, the die for both sides of your journal. Just turn it around. Hi, Fira! <laughs> Hello! I was just looking on Instagram, I saw some beautiful pictures of your daughter. I hope she's doing fine. Hello, Norway. Wow, there are many countries here today. Wow, Northern Illinois. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. Okay, two base pages. And I did do some die cutting because otherwise it would took too long. Um, let me show you what I did. What else I did. Okay, this is the, the solid page. So when you cut this one, it will give you this page. That one I'm going to use over there. I did cut it one more time <laughs> for this side. That one is going over here. And then you do have the other die. And this will give you the photo frames itself. So as you can see, I used this paper uh, sheet on this side. Now I'm going to use the same paper on that side uh, for the frames. And here it's the other way around. I use the green yellowish paper as a background and then I'm going to use it as a frame on this side. So 
um, you, you see a different layout or the, the layout is the same, but um, I also use the same pieces of paper, but in a different order. So I hope it makes sense a little bit. Hi Anne, hi Yolanda, hi everyone. <laughs> welcome, welcome for, to those who joined a little bit later. <clears throat> so by doing this, it will give you immediately some kind of um, cohesive look <laughs> on your pages. You see, this is only pieces of paper, some die cuts, no photos yet. Um, I will add them later. Oh, you can also use a black background if you want to, just for you to see what it will look like when you use a solid black. And then you can add pictures in here or you can use it for journaling. But I'm going to add pictures, but I'm not going to use the black one. So I'm going to put that one aside. Okay, so this is my base. Now I do have uh, six pictures printed. Oh, something happened yesterday. Um, probably a lot of you already know we are moving soon. Uh, I think in three weeks, three weeks now. So we wanted to go to Ikea yesterday morning and we left home early uh, to be there on time. So it's not that crowdy. And then I think two minutes uh, before we arrived at Ikea, our van broke down. <laughs> so we couldn't get there. So we had to call the Anwar Bay, it's called over here. You know, they help you uh, when your car breaks down. Uh, and they were um, not able to fix the car. So, or the van, um, as you can see, there was something with the gear over here. I'm not sure if you know, uh, and something, they couldn't fix it. So they had to, how do you say it? Tow, tow us um, back home again. <laughs> So um, that's where I have some pictures from because I thought that was a good opportunity to make pictures, <laughs> to go into my planner. Uh, so I do have one more picture from the Iron Bay car, which I also would love to use. Let me see. It is here. Wow, oh, Anita, you also had the Iron Bay <laughs> today. So our car is at uh, the garage now, so I hope they're able to fix it pretty soon because, uh, well, then we can go to Ikea and give it another try to see if we arrive there. The blue book back. Oh, Toriel, I love to have the blue book. Can't you find a blue book anymore, Toriel? It should be out there somewhere. Okay, so this is yesterday's uh, pictures from our car. And then I have three pictures of the work uh, and things we have been doing in our new home. So I'm going, I want to use those two. So I'm going to cut them to approximately the correct size. I think I need to adjust them a little bit more, but I can do that later. Okay, one more here. Hi Els, good to see you. <laughs> the only thing is when your car breaks down and you have to wait for them, it takes so long before they get to you. <laughs> but okay, we were sitting there and it was dry. <laughs> we were sitting dry. We had our phones <laughs> so we could do some games <laughs> to spend the time. Lily, we were on Saturday to Ikea. Oh, really, Lily? <laughs> Is it cheaper, <laughs> maybe, that all people from Holland go to Germany? <laughs> you are from Germany, right? Lily? Yeah, I think so. No, Ikea is not far, <laughs> Annemiek. <laughs> Hi, Marga. Hello, hello. Okay, so here I will use the pictures from our home. Oh, they all have a little bit yellowish in it. <laughs> okay, okay. So this is my plan for today. And then of course I need to add some more uh, embellishment. So I'm going to take away the pictures again. 
oh, Susan, IKEA tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I definitely need to go there because I do need some new furniture for my new craft room. But okay, we will get there. Let me see. I do need some distress ink. No, Lily, you should think it's all the same price in Europe. Okay, let me get some ink to do this. And in the meantime, I am trying to chat with you <laughs> about our daily life. Stephanie is also going to change her craft room. Cool. What are you going to do, Stephanie? So I'm trying to add a little bit of ink here and there. Oh, you can't see me. Should I zoom out a little bit further? Let me see if I can make that work. Because I think uh, it should be a little bit more. I think it's better this way, right? Yeah, Michelle, are you also here? Michelle, Michelle, Michelle. I see someone saying something to Michelle. Michelle, are you here? I'm sure you are. <laughs> Michelle McGosh, yeah. How are you? How are we doing with the cruise, Michelle? Text me. Let me know. <laughs> okay. This is a little bit ink on this one. I'm not going to do the, the one in the back because I'm going to uh, attach the two of those together. The two of them, sorry. Hi, Michelle. Yes, it's you. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you. Okay. Trying to get some ink on there. <laughs> Just a little bit here and there. Oh, Elena, is that you? Elena from... Um, Oh, what's it called? Uh, Key, Key West. Is that you, Elena? Hi, Laurie. Also here. Oh, oh. Sometimes I wish we could all see each other in person when doing a Facebook Live. But we are all so far apart. So far apart, guys. Okay. This one. Now, what you can do, if you are printing your pictures, you can make them a little bit bigger, so you can glue them uh, at the back of these photo frames. What you also can do, and that's what I'm going to do today, I'm going to apply the, uh, sorry, attach the two of those together, and then I'm going to put the pictures in there. So uh, the mat, you will see a little bit of the background. Uh, and as you can see, it's not completely square, the pictures I've been printing. So I'm going to cut off a little piece, maybe from the top or the bottom part. Um, and I have to make sure I am not going to glue down this part right away, because I want to do something like this. And I need to slide that under, or maybe I'm going to cut something away from the picture in the corner over here. And I might, should I do that too? On It doesn't really bother me on this one, because um, the second one covers up the first picture, but here it looks a little bit weird uh, if I'm sliding it under there and then you will see a little piece of the picture over there. <coughs> Elena, we are moving in three weeks. Three weeks, yes, yes, yes. That sounds a long time because I think in the US when you are moving, you are moving all on the same day. That's what I've heard, but I'm not sure. <laughs> so I would like to know more about that. But here we take it easy. We already have um, access to the new house for, what was it? Just before Christmas. So we are doing the whole house, you know, painting, everything, sending, more painting, more painting, more sending, <laughs> all the way from top to bottom. <laughs> Hi, Linda, welcome. Okay, let me get some clue. Let me think first, because otherwise I won't, I won't want to mess this up. 
I don't want glue here and here and the rest is okay. I'm going to put this on the side for a few minutes. So I'm not missing anything glue on there. Hi Rhonda, good to see you. Oh, Belinda says, yes, you are moving all in one day. It's insane. Yes, I can imagine. I mean, if you are moving uh, over a long distance, then it might not be possible to do what we are doing now because we stay in the same place, in the same town. So uh, it's easy for us to drive up and down, uh, do a few hours of work over there and then go back home <laughs> and uh, start packing things over here. So, but I can't imagine that I have to move everything in one day. But it's fun to hear it go how it goes in, in other countries. I'm trying to read your comments, you know, the smart way. Oh, that's true, Elena. Yes, yes, yes. And every time we drive there, uh, we bring some stuff which we don't need here and uh, things we can store already in there in the new house. So that's not bad at all. Okay. The first one, I am going to do the same with the next one. Hi, Joseph. <laughs> Good to see you too. Oh boy, now I really wish we could see each other for real. <laughs> so many lovely people around here. Let me see. Adding some glue. Here and there to make sure it stays where I want it to be. And this is really a very fun uh, page to use. I know it's an older one, but maybe you can find it somewhere in a store. <laughs> Just in case you don't have it. And for those of you who joined us later, this is Sidekick Essentials number 1742. It's from a couple of years ago already, but I'm sure there will be a couple of them out there somewhere. Okay. Margaret, we are in Canada, don't you? Mm. Yes, that's the problem, Margaret. We do have to pay for both homes for two months now. So that's the pr that's true. Yes, if you don't pay, you are not able to get in there. But yeah, that's a decision we took, and uh, I'm happy with it. Yeah. Let's have a retreat, Joseph. Yes, definitely. Are you coming back again? I think I've asked you before, but I can't remember the answer. Sorry for that. So you see how it's going to look? Oh, I think I changed them, did I? I'm not sure anymore. No, it's good this way. Okay, now the pictures. Uh, I'm going to use the background as a mat, so I want a little frame all around the picture. So this one is okay. I think this one is okay because I cut it before I started this video. Now this one, uh, I do need to trim off a little bit over here because I don't like the way it looks this way. Oh, that would be lovely, Joe, just to meet the two of you again. Mm. Margaret is living in the same place for 37 years already. Wow. Well, I never expected us to move from this house, but you never know how things change. Okay, I need to cut off a little bit at the back, or, uh, at the bottom part, sorry. So it's square, and then I'm going to cut off a little piece from here up to here. Uh, should I use my paper cutter? Hmm, shall I do it by hand? Not sure if this works. Yeah, okay, here we go. Oh, okay, not bad. And I did have a third picture. Let me see, that one should go in here. And, oh, it had this little corner down there, yes. I'm not sure. I mean, 
you do see a little bit of the picture here, but if I'm going to cut it away, then I will have a strange corner here, which I don't like either. So I think I'm going to leave it this way. Okay, this one can go in there. That's one. Number two. Oh, that's not really smart yet. <laughs> okay, let me put some glue on this one very quickly so I can slide it under the, first, uh, the second one. Okay. And you see now, because I used um, the solid part of this die set, the solid one, it's very easy to have some kind of frame going on there. So, um, oh, Ellen, yes, well, you are the winner, <laughs> Ellen, welcome. <laughs> why do you move, Stephanie? Yes, why do we move? That's a long story. But in the end, it, um, the house is not really bigger, but it's more convenient for us. Uh, we do have some more space for my uh, crafting uh, <laughs> things, also for designing. I'm now designing in our living room and it's much easier if you have a place where you can close the door, you know. So uh, it's more convenient for us to move there. And more space for my Etsy shop too. So And no garden anymore. Yeah, that sounds crazy. I know it is. <laughs> but we don't like gardening. Sorry, guys. <laughs> we don't like gardening. And um, our garden now is quite, well, it's not big, big, but it's quite a lot of work. And if we are going out with our camper van and you come back, and then there's a lot of work to be done. So when you come back from a holiday, nice and relaxed, and then you come home and you have to immediately go back to work in your garden. And we don't like that. So that was also a very important thing <laughs> for us. Yes, that's what it means. The house will fit us better. That's a good way to say it, Belinda. Thank you. Okay, a couple of more pictures. This one isn't really square square, so no. Just trying to cut off a little piece down here. There's a lot of yellow going on in these pictures. I'm going to change them because I don't like, well, this is not such a pretty picture. And I think I'm going to put that one here and then the more neutral one in the middle. So I've got yellow, yellowish colors on both top and bottom parts. Oh, and I glued down this one too much, but that doesn't matter. Oh, Nora, big gardens all around. I can't do it. <laughs> no, we don't like gardening too, so. Let me see if I can make this work. And I'm not sure how it is with you guys, but we do have clicos. <laughs> you know, those containers where you can put your your garden uh, leftovers in. So all the, the, the trash which comes out from your garden, you have to put it in a, in a container. And that container is always too small. <laughs> so then uh, if you come back from a holiday or whatever you, want, you went to, uh, then it leaves you uh, work in your garden. And then you are stuck with all the uh, trash from the garden, not sure how to call that, you know, from cutting all your trees and branches and things like that. And you don't know where to put it because the container is way too small. And then you are stuck with all that rubbish somewhere in the corner for about two months or so. All right, here we go. Pictures, 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 a lot of pictures. Oh, let me get something to drink. Sorry, I need, I'm talking too much. Mm. 
yes, yes, the dogs. <laughs> that will be a problem for them too. But okay. I love gardening. Oh yes, else. But I mean, you are also uh, from uh, quite sometimes away from home. How do you do that when you come back? It drives us crazy. <laughs> Camping and crafting comes before gardening. <laughs> yes, Margaret, <laughs> I agree. Green trash cans, yes, okay. No, we don't like a garden. <laughs> Love and hate relationships, yeah, 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 yeah. Saturday sidekick, Karen, cool. Well, no grass, oh, okay. Yeah, gardening in pots, that's the only solution. Okay, let me get back to this, guys. Oh, I need to glue those down. Okay. Otherwise, they won't stay there. Okay, this one goes here. And one more down there. Whoa, Joseph, yes, I can beam you over. <laughs> you can do our gardens. How do you say it? Beam me over, Scotty. <laughs> that would be handy, right? If we could beam each other over for a cup of coffee, some crafting therapy. <laughs> okay. Pictures. What's next? Okay, I am going to glue them down on the base page because if you want, you can also make pockets out of these. Uh, it's also really fun to make a shaker pages with those uh, frames, the photo frames. So it's a very versatile set, but for this page, I am just going to glue them down. Oops. And I'm not going to make more pockets because um, I think, if I remember well, week says, says, sorry, week six, I also made little uh, pockets uh, and slided in some pictures and some cards. And I don't want it to be the same this week or a little bit the same. Let me check your garments, guys. Beautiful flowers. Vegetables from the garden, yes, that is really good. Very healthy. Okay, the other one. So you guys just keep on talking, keep on chatting with each other <laughs> while I'm gluing something down on my page. Okay, what else did I have in mind? Oh, is it okay? Yes, it is okay. I thought I glued it upside down, but now I'm good. I am good. Uh, of course, I do need to use my number eight, week eight number. And I was thinking about using some of those sentiments because I'm not sure if you're able to see it, but next to each of those uh, pictures is some kind of um, a little space over here which you can do some journaling some yeah there's a little stitch line here not sure if you're able to see it um like a polaroid picture but of course you can also add some ready to go sentiments so i i thought it might be fun to use those instead of stamping or journaling so Oh, Pat, yes, the pictures. It's, they're always giving me a hard time too. I thought I had them uh, exactly the correct size and I did add, and that's what I always do. I'm going to show you. In the die set, it takes me some time to figure out um, which size I need to print them. And I wrote everything down and that's maybe half a year ago again, I did it. But now I do have a, a different selfie printer and Somehow they didn't fit and 
I didn't want to uh, print new pictures and throw these away because that's a waste. Um, so that's why I did this um, to make them a little bit smaller and um, they are framed. Okay, what shall I use? Incredible, hysterical. Well, <laughs> it was a little bit hysterical sometimes. Newsflash, that's a nice one for yesterday's Cars Adventures. Let me use that one for sure. Okay, uh, does it fit? Yes, perfect. Interesting, well, it was interesting too. <laughs> At a certain point, I had a strange guy laying under, my, under the dashboard trying to fix the car. So it was quite interesting to see what he was doing. Okay, one more. It's maybe a little bit too... Oh, it fit exactly. Incredible, unbelievable. Amused, yeah, we were amused. Do I have some more? Oh, let me see. Captured. Priceless. Now it's not going to be priceless, <laughs> probably. <laughs> right now, I think these are all the ones I have at the moment. So I want one more over here. Captured. I think I'm going to use that one. Thanks for watching, Honora. Take care. Okay, just cutting off some of the larger pieces. Is this fun? Yes, I think it is fun. I'm going to add some ink. So you see, it's not really complicated to make um, a page with uh, some pictures. If you have more pictures than this, <laughs> you can also use the pocket pages, of course. Okay, but I think this is really fun. So, doing these down. Nose flash. No, I'm going to leave it this way. Uh, I wanted to take my blending tool to add some glue. That's not really working, is it? Interesting. And then the word captured. But now I also have the other side. Should I use the same words over there too? Hmm. Not sure about that yet. Let me see what it looks like. I am going just putting some words to see how the overall look is when I'm doing that. So let me see. Get another one. Oh, it does make it more cohesive, don't you think? Yeah, I think I'm going to do that, but then I need different words. Incredible. Well, this is a new dining table. Is that incredible? Yes, why not? <laughs> why not? It's an incredible, beautiful table. All right, here we go. And then, what does this one say? Sometimes that doesn't make any sense. Outstanding. That's a long one. Oh, I can do that. Outstanding, yeah. I do like that one. I'm quiet sometimes. I am reading your comments. At least I'm trying to read and cut 
at the same time. So <laughs> that's why I'm not talking. Uh, every day, dream journal forever. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Glamorous, no, it's not. Oh, right now. Right now. That would be fun. I think I'm going to put them the other way around because I'm reading those from this side and I should read those from the other side. It's almost upside down, but who cares? Um, yep, yeah, I think I will go for this. Inking again. Oh, uh, the words are from one of the books, from one of the reminiscence books. Uh, you can cut them out. I think it's the last one. Definitely not completely sure. Let me check. Yes, book six. They're in here. Here we go. <laughs> so these are not stamps. Hey, I saw a question. That's a good one. Was it? <laughs> yes, book six. Thank you, Belinda. <laughs> Oops, here we go. That one goes here. And then this one should be there. When trying to read the comments, um, the comments disappear. So I can read a few lines and then they disappear on my screen and then you have to touch the screen again to make them pop up again. So that's why we don't always see everything uh, you are asking or telling us when we are doing a live. It's hard to keep up with the comments. But I do my best. I will do my best. Gluing those down too. Here we go with this one. For now, I think I'm going to add it into my journal to see what it looks like because I always think it looks different, uh, different on your desktop or in your journal. So let me see. And I know I do have to add some um, reinforcers, of course. So this was my week says, six, sorry, week seven is going to be here. But these two pages are for my week eight. Oh, I do like the way it looks now. Okay, reinforcers. Definitely need those. Um, I think I will go for black. Black, 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 black. Print to size. Are you talking about print to size the app? I tried to print to size a couple of times, but it didn't work. It was never the same size as I wanted them to be. So I threw that app away again. <laughs> I think I will go for some flower reinforcers. Always funny to use them. Always fun. Um, do I have more of those? Yes. If I could cut the backing paper off, that would be great. Here we go. One more. Black reinforcers, it is, Margaret. Okay. I think I will do three flowers at the top of the, the, uh, of the right page. Miriam, do you like the, the app print, print to size? Does it work for you? I really tried it a couple of times and then pshht, it drove me crazy. So. It didn't work for me. Mm, 
it didn't work for me. Let me see. Flowers over here too. It should have been nice to have little cars or something. I also had been thinking uh, about using um, the truck from Josette's um, release. Is it an ice truck or? Uh, because our camper fan, if you take the front of the camper fan, it looks like the ice truck. Oh, this one doesn't work. But it was too large to put on here, so maybe I'm going to use it soon. Um, maybe when we are moving to a new house or something. Because I do like it. I do like it. Okay. So that is that, and then I need different ones. I think I will go for some smaller circle ones uh, for the other reinforcers. Of course you can use uh, six flowers on each page, but for me personally, that's a little bit too much. So I will choose the smaller black circles, these little thingies. You probably won't see them because they are on my uh, <laughs> craft mat. <laughs> Not met the little ones. Okay, over here. It's very interesting for you <laughs> to see me adding some reinforces, but okay, it's all part of the pages, right? Hey Inge, good to see you too. Let me see, two more. I do need two more. One and one. There we go. And now I am also thinking I should add something extra somewhere. Oh, I do know, I do know, I do know. Let me... That's not really smart of me because I remember something. Did I glue those down? Uh, I can... They're not completely glued down to the edges, so I can add something extra. So what I did... Let me see. This piece is also from the same die set. And it's such a fun one to use uh, as a decorative element, I did find a vintage invoice from some kind of Virginia company. Does it say? I can't read it. Who cares? Hotel. Oh my, it's a very old one. July 20, 1898, 1898, Ooh, that's really old, I didn't, 1898, Lindsay. and I just did put some double-sided adhesive in the back. Okay, <laughs> well, this is going to have a second life in my journal now. <laughs> so yeah, I didn't know it was that old. <laughs> oh, bummer. Yeah, I think it's uh, from a hotel or something. Oh, account, investments. Okay. And I was thinking, I am going to cut <laughs> these from this beautiful old um, vintage piece of paper. <coughs> okay, I think I need a couple of them. Let me see, three or so. And I am thinking, not sure if it's going to work, because this paper is very thin. Shall I try to cut two of them at the same time? Would it work? Because I'm not sure what it does with the tape in the back. I'm going to give it a try. So if it's not working, you may laugh. <laughs> okay. If you weren't watching, I would have been trying three at the same time, but I don't think that's going to work.
Okay, let me see what that does. Not sure if it's cutting all the way through them. Let me see, guys. Hmm, actually, it doesn't look that bad. Yes, it does. Hmm, not such a smart idea. Okay, I wouldn't suggest doing that again. <laughs> oh, and this one. That's also not working the way I want it to be. But probably because I glued two of them together. But now the point is, and that's not really smart too, because I did put a double-sided tape in there. And the paper is way too thin, way too flimsy. So you see what's happening? This is not going to work. Okay. You see? And this is only one of them. This is the other one. Not such a smart idea. I thought it might be fun to use, and only because of uh, the color. I like the color, but... No. Okay. You agree with me? This is nothing. I'm going to throw it away. Sorry for this old piece of paper, but no. I'm going to take a piece of black paper. That's always good. And I'm going to cut the same one from some black cardstock. Let me see if I can grab something here that looks better. And I think I can fold that in half and then cut two at the same time. That should work. Hopefully. Yeah. Let me see and try it again. Let me go. Okay, one moment, please. I will run it through the die cut machine twice. Not sure if it went went through all the way. And now my die fell to the ground. <laughs> and I hope this is working better. No. I don't know what's going wrong here. Definitely not going the way I want it to be. They all stick together. Here we go. This is the piece I wanted. Okay, but actually cutting two of them at the same time, don't do it. <laughs> I won't recommend it. And the same here. No, it didn't work. It's too um, uh, small, delicate, I think that's what you call it. No. Okay, I'm going to cut one more from a single piece of cardstock. <laughs> Let me see if I can find something black. If I've got a little piece left somewhere. Yes, here we go. Oh, my die fell on the floor. That's what happened. And I can't see it anymore. Oh, you won't believe me, guys. Where is it? Oh, got it. <laughs> here we go. Okay, another piece of paper. It's my third attempt, so it should work now, right? Here we go. And I can hear you laughing. <laughs> Esther is struggling with some of her dice. On the floor again. And let me see if I can get it out. Yes, here we go. Okay, so I do have two of those pieces and I thought it might be fun to cut them in half and then somehow uh, see or find a way to attach them somewhere around one or the pictures something like that because they're really fun decorative elements uh, maybe one over here 
Hmm. I would suggest using one more, Esther. Yes, yes, yes. Let me see. Cut them in half. So maybe here. Or maybe I can add one with each picture. That would be fun. Because now I do have four. And I don't like to have four. It should be five. <laughs> or three. Hmm. Take this one away. Put it back. <laughs> the third time is the charm. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Joseph. <laughs> Oh, Robin, you lost a die for over two years. <laughs> Those things happened to me. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, I think this is these are things we all can relate to, right? But now, deciding what to do. Shall I cut one more? It's a little bit too much, probably, when using six of those or five. Okay, I will go back to three. But where shall I put number three? Let me see. This one goes here. I think it's too much doing five or six. And then there's another thing. How on earth are you going to glue this one down? So the best thing would be double-sided adhesive in the back and then sturdy paper. But because I now did forget to put double-sided adhesive in there, I need to use some glue. I think I will go for this way. Only three. You see? And I am going to do what else does or did always. <laughs> Putting some glue on your hands. And I know it might be not healthy, but I don't mind just using a little bit of glue. And then you can attach it somewhere where you want it to be. And nowadays, all the glues we use uh, do dry uh, clear, so you won't see it anymore. Just dabbing it into some glue, and then you can glue them down on your page or your card. <coughs> this one here we go so I think this looks nice but I do miss something not sure oh number eight oh how can I forget I have to cut this one week eight and of course, I need to do some journaling, uh, what it's about. So I need to make some little labels somewhere where I can write something down. Because now I do know what happened, but maybe in a couple of years, <laughs> I have probably no idea anymore what was going on. Well, hopefully I do remember, of course, but <laughs> you never know. Okay, here is my week eight. I still do like those big bulky numbers. Where shall I put it? I think down here might be nice. And I am quickly going to see and watch in my little box with um, paper pieces from this paper collection to see if there's something else which might be nice uh, to use in addition to this page. No more words. No, I do already have quite some um, sentiments on there, so I don't want to use more. And I do have flowers over here, which I do like normally. But now I have these thingies, and I don't want those to go with my flowers, so probably not going to use any of these things. But oh, I will put it a little bit more in front of the camera. 
Now, this doesn't make any sense either, but I do like the stamp. But, well, no, it doesn't go with the pictures. For me, it always has to make a little bit of sense <laughs> um, by using the elements. Um, yeah, let me, t how do I say it? Um, it has to, for me, it has to do something with the pictures or the page I'm working on. That's not always working, but <laughs> most of the time I try to do that. 40 cents, well, if they can fix this car for 40 cents, that would be nice, right? A butterfly. Hmm. This would be probably be better. <laughs> Maybe that's fun to use some of them. I do like this. 40. Hmm. I think I will go for these. Let me see if this works. Just filling out something. Not sure if it will fit or go under there. No, I don't like it when it's, hmm, it's too big, too big, too big. No. Then I move over to my other numbers, also from one of the reminiscence books. You know, the little thingies like this, which you can cut yourself and then just as decorative elements, use them in your journals, in your planners. This might work, but then I need to have some neutral ones, not something with pink. Or, well, I do <laughs> uh, need something with pink, but I think they're not in there. So maybe just something like this. Black. Um, these also have numbers. Oh, I don't like that there. George, let me see what else. This one is fun too. Big black numbers. And just for fun, this doesn't have to make any sense. Oh, I think this one should go in the middle. Somewhere around here. And then I need another one over there with this decorative. The library of no. Look. Another cool number. Let me see. I I'm always watching my screen when doing this because it looks different when you are watching uh, me doing this than when I'm watching it myself uh, because I'm at the top of what I'm doing and then sometimes it's better to see it from a distance. I hope that makes sense what I'm trying to tell you. Okay, I will go for these numbers. I'm going to cut this one a little bit smaller because it covers up most of the um, the decorative element down there. So if I ma make this one a little bit smaller, you will see more of the black piece behind it. Okay. Just some glue. And this one should go there. That is one, then the other one. Oh, I can write something down there. You see, title. Okay, I'm going to write something down. <laughs> Our car broke down. <laughs> uh, but I write it in Dutch, so it says Autopath. Autopath. So there's a little bit of journaling on this really small part, a piece of paper. Okay, I think that's really nice. A little detail, and then this one, the last one. What time is it? Oh, it's almost time. But I think I can finish this right on time. This number eight, oh no, number eight still has to be glued down. And to keep it simple, it goes 
right here, down in the corner. Then I still think I missed something and I think I'm going to do a black line all, uh, how do you say, on the side of the page. So I'm going to take it out and I missed a lot of your comments again. <laughs> Sorry guys. <laughs> and I need a black pen or a marker. I'm going to take this one. This is a little bit more. I usually like to use 0.4 um, um, pens for writing. This one is a little bit thicker. I'm not sure if you can see the difference. Yes, you can see. When I do write, I'm using something like this 0.5, 0.4, and this is probably one millimeter or something. It says M. I don't know. Um, but that's because the background is a little bit more, uh, has a pattern, and then you won't see very small lines. So I'm going to draw a line just among the edges of the page, add some crosses here and there. You can also take uh, the tab if you want, all the way down there. And I can continue at the bottom of the page. I'm not sure if you can see the difference, but for me, it's more finished with uh, a border like this instead of this one. Trying to keep it a little bit closer to the camera so you can see uh, what I mean. So I'm going to do the same with this one. few crosses just for fun. Not everything we do have to make sense. All the way up and moving to the right again. A few more crosses here and down here there's also some space to put some lines and a few crosses. Okay, now I am happy with those pages. So to put them back in again, let me see, and this one over here and this one over there. So here we go guys, two pages, um, it's my week eight <laughs> and I used a little bit older set, number 1742, uh, the photo frame pages. I hope you liked what, you, uh, what I've been showing you. Uh, I won't be live the next weeks because I'm going to start packing my craft room uh, and unpacking it again in three weeks. So I will be back in the beginning of April. Uh, of course, there will be Sidekick Saturday videos. These I have already pre-recorded uh, for you. So they will be on YouTube uh, this Saturday and then every two other weeks there will be new videos too. So um, thank you all so much for watching uh, and of course I will see you in our Facebook groups and I hope to see a lot of your, um, yeah, the things you create. Okay, thank you so much for watching and um, have a great rest of the day or have a great evening. It depends on where you're watching from. Okay, thank you again. Bye bye.